Hi everyone, uh, this is Jay Vansal. Welcome to another video by the ML Hub. In this video, we will discuss why you should opt for Gate D exam. So, in detail, I'll explain what are the scope, opportunities, and career benefits when you write the Gate D exam. So, firstly, what is Gate DA? So, Gate DA stands for Gate Data Science and Artificial Intelligence exam, which Gate authorities have introduced uh, in 2024. So, for the last two years, they have been taking this exam. It is a specialized exam for data science, ML and AI roles uh, and Gate DA focuses mainly on maths, ML and AI. So these are the subjects which are there in Gate DA syllabus. These are the eight subjects. We have probability stats, linear algebra and uh, calculus and optimization. These three are math subjects and these math subjects are uh, in mostly all the engineering branches, right? So Gate D is not just for Gate CA students, that's a misconception. I'll try to explain in this slide how. Uh, these three math subjects constitute around 40 to 50 percent of Gate exam weightage. The, that, that's what we have seen in the past two years trends. And uh, almost all uh, Gate uh, streams or engineering streams have these subjects like electrical engineering, uh, ele electronics engineering, mechanical, uh, civil almost all major uh, engineering streams and even uh, BSc mathematics students they almost learn all these subjects okay in their curriculum itself so these are mathematics now coming to the next two subjects we have programming uh, programming data structures and algorithms specifically programming is in python language so it is one of the most easiest language to learn uh, even from scratch so even if you don't know C or C++ you can learn python very easily so programming in python and then we have dsa and we have dbms so all in all if you want to land a software role anyway right so in any industry if you want to land a, a software role uh, back end engineer so front end engineer or an ml engineer generally everyone uh, who is pursuing a software role or wants to grow career in this uh, direction they have to know dsa right so in interviews dsa will be asked so like students anyway prepare for programming and dsa and DBMS as well. So generally DBMS concepts are very core to data science. You need to know how to manage data and it's not that difficult. Okay, so like these two subjects get CS students anyway learn in their curriculum. And some of these courses are there as a part of your like uh, CS1 woman courses like are part of other engineering streams as well. So like these two subjects you need to prepare and then coming to ML and AI. These two subjects are specific to Gate DA. They are not there in any other Gate streams. And these are the subjects you need to master to write Gate DA. So Maths, Programming DSA and DBMS, and then ML and A. Then General Aptitude anyway is covered in all branches. And if you want to land any job, generally for any interview, like aptitude, uh, aptitude is asked. So you need to cover General Aptitude as well. So this is the syllabus of Gate DA. I would say uh, it is a combination of uh, different subjects taken from different branches generally any student uh, any any engineer okay any anyone who knows maths can opt for gate da these are the subjects okay now coming to why you should write gate da uh, or why you should opt for da in general so what we have seen from past few years trends the demand of data science and ai professionals is skyrocketing like it's increasing a lot uh, the ai market in general is growing a lot and uh, researchers say that like by 2028 AI will create millions of new jobs. There are millions of jobs right now and new jobs will also be created. So if you see the global AI market size in billion dollars, uh, it has grown exponentially from 2022 till 2025 and the projections say that it will keep on growing exponentially till 2032. Same goes with the US market. Uh, this is the US AI market size in billion dollars. It has been increasing since 2022. Now, how to land one of these AI roles? So, how can Gate DA help you? Uh, if you write Gate DA, uh, top IITs, ISC, and other premium institutes uh, offer MTech and MS programs in uh, AI, data science, and other related courses. And they specifically prefer Gate DA students in those programs. So all the institutes men mentioned here either have an MTech in AI program or an MS by research program in AI. And very soon we will see that the data science branch in general or the ML AI branch in general, you will have ML departments in every of these colleges. They are building them right now and they will keep on offering MTech programs uh, like in coming years. Cool. So you can, you can join these institutes after writing Gate DA. And coming to industry benefits, 
all the top companies, man companies like Google, Microsoft, Amazon and other startups hire AI and ML engineers from IITs. So once you land, uh, once you finish your M.Tech, you can directly sit for ca campus placements or you can pursue the research career as well, like whatever you like. But all the top companies come to these IITs and they are looking for ML engineers right now. And uh, what we have seen, the data that we gathered, uh, for AI and ML roles, IIT graduates expect an average package from 18 to 22 lakhs per annum for a fresher, for an entry level job. Okay, this is slightly higher than normal SWE roles and specifically for AIML roles, the average package is 18 to 22 lakhs per annum. Uh, if you do a graduation or post-graduation from IITs. Cool. Uh, now this graph uh, shows the median salary of Gen AI professionals, which means MLAI roles, uh, across years of experience in India. So as you can see, as years of experience grow, if you have a lot of experience in AI field, the median salary is real high. Uh, so like the last data that we showed was from was specifically for IIT graduates. So if you do, do an MTech, if you write gate D exam, the average package uh, for zero experience is 18 to 22 lakhs. But in general, like across India, if you're not even from IIT, for AI professionals, the median salary uh, grows like this. Okay, so this was all about the private sector. Now coming to the government sector. We don't have enough data from the last two years. Right now, PSUs are hiring from core branches. But what we have uh, heard from the individuals who are there in uh, PSUs, ki, uh, many PSUs are shifting towards data-driven decision making, at, just like the private sector. Okay, And they are adopting AI as they can. And organizations like DRDO, ISRO, BAC and other PSUs, uh, they have research roles in AI and they will actively hire gate D aspirants uh, in the coming future. So that's our estimate. And everyone knows what are the benefits of joining a PSU or a government job. Uh, like they offer job security, stability, they offer higher salaries, and uh, they, they, you, there you can also do research oriented work. Okay, so apart from private sector, there are a lot of uh, public offerings or government offerings as well. Cool. Now who should write gate DA? This is all about the benefits that you get when you write gate DA. But is gate DA really for you? How do you check that? So this is the checklist. You should have a passion for data science, AI, ML and statistics. If you're not able to figure out that right now, just think of it like, are you good with numbers? Okay, like if you're good with numbers, if you're good with math, uh, gate DA is for you. And you want to study in IITs, ISC or top institutes. And then you are looking for high paying AI, ML jobs in the private industry or in the government industry, then get DAs for you. All in all, like uh, again, with the interactions with last year's stoppers, what we found out, anyone who has a love for maths uh, can opt for gate DA. There is no extra prerequisite. We will take care of everything else, okay? So what we have seen from last year's data, students from gate CS, uh, gate EC, electrical engineering, civil engineering. We have seen toppers from all these branches. Okay, we have seen toppers from all these branches. You can go to the playlist called Topper Stock in our channel and see like, uh, everyone will have a different background from a different branch. Some of them were like actually cracked gate DA in their college third year or final year. Some of them even like were already working professional in IT or other uh, industries and they wanted to pursue now a career in uh, ML and AI related jobs. So they then wrote gate DA and they cracked it with flying colors. So, okay, so freshers or working professionals, anyone, okay, with a passion in maths can write it. Even you can take inspiration from a gate DA AIR one, which uh, uh, was in gate DA 2025. He was an MBBS student and he didn't had a engineering degree and still cracked gate DA with AIR one. Okay, so like take inspiration from all these people. Don't have the misconception that gate CA students only write gate DA. Uh, gate CA students must write gate DA because their curriculum is like almost like overlapping. Just two subjects are new. But other branches students should also opt for gate DA. This was about who should write gate DA. Now let's focus on how you can prepare for this exam. So to prepare for gate DA exam, you just need to master maths topics like probability statistics, uh, linear algebra and calculus. And uh, some of this are already covered in your like plus two preparations as well. Almost like the syllabus aligns to that, there are a few advanced concepts added as well. Then you need to master MI, uh, ML, AI and uh, DSA and DBMS, okay? So we will help you to prepare all that. 
and if you want to prepare on your own you just need to check the official syllabus and the standard textbooks so there is a video that we created for standard textbooks and explaining the entire syllabus uh, we will put, uh, put a link in the description of this video as well you can check that out there we have discussed in detail that for every subject to cover every piece of topic in syllabus which textbook you can refer okay so go check that out and then uh, apart from this if you want to take you can opt for online courses and test series as well so online courses help you in structured preparation so that you don't have to like re go through the entire textbooks that's a very tiring and time taking process so like to avoid that you can opt for online courses we uh, provide a uh, gate da course for 2026 and 2027 uh, on the ml website uh, we will uh, put the link in the description and we offer a test series as well again like just taking the course or reading the textbooks won't be enough uh, what we heard again from experience from my personal experience and uh, uh, previous year toppers that uh, practice is as important as learning the concepts from a course okay so do opt for this okay and this is all about preparation and generally preparing alone can be very stressful okay so you can join some study groups study with your friends practice with them we also have a discord community with a uh, thousand plus students we will put a link in the description of this video uh, they are like through the entire journey of preparation we will be with you and other students will be with you so if you have any doubts if we have time we will answer the question or other students can answer the question in that uh, server cool so train learn conquer that's our motto and you can check out the channel you can subscribe to this channel for more such content and we are putting playlists for subjects uh, on the youtube channel as well go check that out and like this video and share it with your friends if you think they can crack gate da and this is our website where the course is there so the mlhub.ai uh, this is uh, go on this website to check uh, the gate da courses that we offer thanks